in this video we are going to learn how to make a mock server in postman and how to create a mock api so first of all you need to know what is basically mock server so in a mock server in postman let's you simulate apis so you can create a mock server through postman application i am using postman application you can also create in using google chrome extension for postman so now we will start with creating a mock server so for creating a mock server to go to new click on new and uh, go to mock servers here here you can see that the method is get you can change the method of your choice first of all i will give the demo with the get method only so path you can keep any path so anything like v1 slash demo and the response code that you want to show for this and the response body let's say a response body let me keep it very simple first and just click on next and the mock server name that we want to give is youtube mock demo create mock and the third step the third step shows you the url that uh, your mock service is hosted so close this and let's look at what we have got you can see here youtube mock demo we have got a mock server here and we have got a request so we have opened the request and this is the our request looks like when you initially hit on send button it will not give you any response because you have not selected the environment the url here is not pointing anywhere so what we will do we'll change the environment and we will keep our mock service name now if you hit it you are getting the response as hello world so as a developer you want to have this url in your program so how you can get this url just go to i icon here and this is the url that your service is hosted just copy this one and let's go to chrome paste the url and the request url that we have created is v1 slash demo and when you click on enter you are getting the response back hello world now let's go one more step further and we want to edit this request so for editing this you have to click on this example and the default you have to click on default because we have not given any name to this the example is default so click on it and you will get a editing menu where you can edit the name of the name of this example and you can edit your url as well let's say demo one and save it in order to or changes to take effect i want to modify a few more things let's say i don't want to get this response i want to get uh, a json object maybe so json object i have a sample of json object that uh, will just copy it and paste it here and the format i want to keep json and let's save it the changes are saved now let's go to our project and we have changed the url let's say demo one and click on send so you can see that uh, the response that we are getting is in the adjacent format you can see it in the raw format or preview format in the browser you will be getting something like this my browser is having a json formatter so i will be getting something like this now suppose you don't want a json response you want a xml response so for that all as well i have a sample i will just copy and paste it here paste it here and the format is xml so now when you save this project and hit it from here you will get something like this and let's check it in the browser you will be getting something like this so this is the xml format so let's say that you want to have a post request 
so in the post request you you need to have a body for body let's say that i want to have xml request body let's say that we have a xml request body just copy and paste it here and we should mark it as a xml so for this request body we should be getting this output so we have created it and just save it after saving it go to postman give it a post request and give the request body and when you click on send this will be the response you will be getting now you can try it in shop ui as well but this this is a post request we cannot send it through the browser because we need to have a request body and it doesn't take request body from here so we have tried this from postman so this is the way you have to create a mock service or mock api and you can use this in your program with the url that uh, with the url that is provided by the postman so that's it from this video if you want to learn how to create a mock api from soap ui then it will be very easier than this one because you can give your own port number your own ip or local host from soap ui and you can run your you don't have to connect to internet and you can run it locally so that's it from this video Thank you for watching, subscribe the channel.